Hello, everybody. In today's lesson, lesson 1.2, we're going to be starting on page 17 of the second grade gold map textbook. And our topic today is representing even numbers. And the essential question that you should be able to explain is why can an even number be shown as the sum of two equal add-ins? Hmm. Well, sum means to add. Equal means the same. Add add-ins are two numbers added together. All right. So I'm going to get yourself, I don't know, 10 to 15 cubes for this exercise. Okay. Pause the video while you get your 10 to 15 cubes. Remember, you can use anything for counting. You can use beans. You can use noodles. Um pennies, anything, okay? So get anywhere from 10 to 15. All right, now, after I give you this scenario, I want you to pause the video again and draw the following situation. I want you to group whatever you're using for counting into groups, into pairs. Then I want you to draw a picture of your counting uh, cubes. And I want you to write the counting sequence for finding the total number of cubes. Okay, so go ahead and pause it. All right, so let's see. I've got a group of cubes here. So let's see, I'm going to put them in pairs. So that's... I'm going to set them all out first in pairs. All right. So let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, so I have 12 cubes. So I'm going to write 12. And now I'm going to write the sequence for counting those. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, if I was counting by twos, what would that sequence be? Well, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And I'm going to say these are evens. Right now, some of you might have come up with an odd number, right? So like if you had 13, you would have had an odd number. Some of you might have had 14, and you would have had seven pairs of two for, um, for another even number. And if you had 15 cubes, you also had an odd number, right? Because this one doesn't have a pair. Okay, so we could have had the following possibilities. We could have had five pairs of, of cubes and have 10. Some of you might have had 11, and that's an odd number. 12, which is what I had, is an even number. Again, some might have had 13, which is an odd number. 14, which would have been even. And 15, which would have been odd because it doesn't have a pair, all right? So, now draw your cube. So this is what I had. Okay. So I had six pairs of two. All right, let's look at 
page 18. All right, so remember that an even number of cubes can be shown as two equal groups. So if we have six, we could have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have three pairs of two, right? Here's a pair, here's a pair, here's a pair. All right, so we have two equal groups. There's three in this group and three in this group. So three plus three is six. And so we can match each cube in the first group with a cube in the second group. All right, so one, two, three, four, five in this group. One, two, three, four, five in this group. So they have an exact match. So five and five gives us 10. So let's look at the share and show. How many cubes are there in all? Complete the addition sentence to show the equal groups. All right, so let's circle the equal groups after connecting the pairs. Okay, so this is the top and the bottom have a match. So there's two in that group. And there's two in that group. So we simply write two plus two. So how much do we have? We have four. Okay. How about in this one? So join them by drawing a line. Okay. Circle your two equal groups. I have one, two, three, four in each group and four and four so if i have to i can go count each one okay i could count by twos or one two three four five six seven eight or just know that four plus four is eight okay number three okay so there's more here right Right, so how many do we have in our first group? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. And we know that the bottom is the same because there's matches for all of them. Okay, so we have two groups of six. And six and six is 12. We can confirm that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I could have counted by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I can count by six. Six plus six is twelve. All right, number four. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in each group. So there's seven in the top group, seven in the bottom group. All right, so we can count by ones if we have to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I could count by pairs, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Or seven plus seven is 14. Okay, page 19. All right, so shade in the frames to show two equal groups for each number, and then complete the addition sentence to show the groups. All right, so. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we have five shaded in the first group. One, two, three, four, five in the second group. And five and five is 10. Okay, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 16. All right, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 
All right, so 16 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 plus 8. There's 8 in each group. All right, how about 20? Okay, so make pairs as we go. So you go 1 and 2 or just say 2. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. All right, so 20. So we have two sets of 10, two equal groups of 10. 10 and 10 is 20. All right, now we have to show 18. I'm going to count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Okay, well, I know there's 10 in this row, so 1 less is 9. So 9 and 9 gives me 18. Okay, so now, the number 7 is an odd number. Mark showed 7 with this addition sentence, 3 plus 3 plus 1. Use Mark's way to show these odd numbers with addition sentences. So... Let's go ahead and model this as we go. So we have five, right? And we know that we want to put them in pairs. So how much do we have in each group? Okay, so we know that five is an odd number. Okay, so how much is in each group? Two and two and one left over, right? So two plus two gives us four plus the one left over, five. Okay, 11. All right, go ahead and make some pairs until we get to 11. All right, that's four, six, eight, 10, 11. All right, so we have an odd number again because there's no pair here. So how many do we have in each group? We have one, two, three, four, five. So five plus one, two, three, four, five plus the one left over. So five and five is 10 plus an extra is 11. All right, nine. All right, well, that's nine right there, okay? Because I just took away two. 11 minus nine is two. Okay. So now how much do we have in each group? We have one, two, three, four. So I have four, one, two, three, four, four in each group and one left over. 13. All right, let's see. So that's 10, 12, 13. All right, how much do you have in each group? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six plus six is 12, plus the leftover cube, 13. So six and six is 12, plus one more is 13. Okay, let's look at page 20. All right, solve, write, or draw to explain. Okay, this is a use reasoning question. So let's see, Jacob and Lucas each have the same number of shells. Together, they have 16 shells. How many shells do Jacob and Lucas each have? Okay, well, 16, 
let's go ahead and just count them out here. They have to have the same amount, so that seems to me to be a, an even number because they have the same amount. So that's 2, 4. I'm going to go ahead and put Jacob's name here. I'm going to put Lucas here. Okay, so these squares represent Jacob and Lucas's shells. All right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So how many does Jacob have? He has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How much does Lucas have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right. So that makes sense. 8 and 8, they have the same number of shells, and 8 plus 8 is 16. All right, 14. Choose an even number between 10 and 19. An even number between 10 and 19. Draw a picture and then write a sentence to explain why it is an even number. Okay, well, let's let's see if 10 is even. Okay, so we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, but now 10 is not between 10 and 19. 10 is 10. So the first number between 10 is 11. Okay, is 11 even? No, because it doesn't have a pair. So 11 won't work. Will 12 work? Yes. So 12, I could choose 12. Will 13 work? No, because it doesn't have a pair. 14 will work. Will 15? No. How about 16? Yes, 16 has a pair. 17? No, there's no pair. 18? 18 has a pair. And then the last one, 19. Well, 19 is 19, so you can't, if you wouldn't use 19. So we have four choices. So we could have 12, 14, 16, or 18. You need to choose one of those numbers and explain why it's an even number. I think I'm going to take 14 myself. And I'm just drawing out to get 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. So I counted them out in pairs of t in pairs. And now I'm just going to write a, a number sentence to show the answer. So we have 14 is how much is in each of the equal groups? So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus 7. So there's 7 in the top group, 7 in the bottom group. Okay. So Okay, and so draw a picture. We drew a picture. Write a sentence to explain why it's an even number. Well, I have seven pairs with nothing left over. Okay, so if I had an extra one, that would be 15, and it would, it would not be an even number. It would be odd. So anytime we have exact pairs, we have even numbers. All right, so that's it. That's all there is to representing even numbers. Okay, so if you can pair up the numbers, it's even. So until next time, I will see you soon.